Can you guess what these are? No, they are not birds, eggs, or atoms either. Here we are using them to represent subatomic particles. This represents the proton, which has positive charge. And this with negative charge is an electron. The one in the center has no charge and is a neutron. You could say it is neutral, or has zero charge. Scientists first thought that atoms were the smallest possible particles, and they had no smaller parts. But the discovery of electricity and charged radiation was evidence that these subatomic particles did exist. Read over the material and try the question before you continue. This table is a quick summary of the three subatomic particles. Look it over and try the three questions below. If you want me to explain about a particle just click it in the table. Electrons Electrons move so fast that they seem to be everywhere at once in the space surrounding the nucleus like the spinning blades on a fan. They are negatively charged, so the space around the nucleus seems to be negatively charged, too. It would take almost 2,000 of them to equal the mass of one proton, so the mass they add to an atom is not significant. We say they have an atomic mass of zero. This model shows the two parts or areas of an atom. In the center is the nucleus where most of the atom's mass is located. Remember the protons and neutrons pack together to form the nucleus. In this model the electrons seem to be orbiting in simple circular paths, like planets around the sun. This is a simplification. The electrons actually move three-dimensionally through all the space surrounding the nucleus. That would be hard to show in a flat graphic. Read the summary of the parts, then try the question. Good luck. Most pictures or graphics seem to show atoms as if they are flat or disc-shaped objects. They are not. Remember they are three-dimensional. This picture is often used to represent atoms. It is good because it gives the idea the electrons move through all the space around the nucleus, not just in a flat disk like the planets moving around the sun. But this picture still has some serious problems with the way it shows the atom. Read the material below to find out what the problems are. Don't forget to answer the questions before you continue to the next page.